Hi, and welcome to another Sealed in Time production, where we bring historical photos to life. Please consider leaving a like and a comment, letting us know which photo is your favorite. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell to be notified whenever a new video is posted. Thanks for watching, and as always, enjoy the show. Barbara Pepper, a versatile American actress across stage, television, radio, and film, gained enduring recognition for her portrayal as the original Doris Ziffel on the beloved 1960s television sitcom Green Acres. A lady converses with the butcher regarding her selections at the meat counter of Madison Packing Company, situated in 1926, Madison, Wisconsin. The proprietor of the nearby haberdashery visited the 1900s photographer's studio for a portrait intended for display on his office wall. A furry companion of the Parisian ladies' boutique has discovered a cozy nook to while away its afternoon. David H. Young, an agriculture department fabric technician, can be observed inspecting one of the cotton stockings being promoted in 1941. A demonstration showcasing a fixed closure balloon of the low zone type manufactured in England took place in London, England in 1938. In the early 1900s, a young Hungarian woman, driven by aspirations for a professional career, made her way to the photographer's studio. A family from the early 1900s visited the photographer's studio for a family portrait, but it took numerous attempts before they finally captured an acceptable shot. Unfortunately, this isn't the one. In the winter break of 1899, a student at the University of Missouri, Columbia, stands with laundry bags in hand patiently awaiting his ride. The Barclay Street Station, where the 1894 Christmas trees are available for purchase, served as a local stop along the once-standing IRT 9th Avenue line in Manhattan, New York City. Originally opened on February 14, 1870, the station ceased operations on June 11, 1940. A small Italian immigrant family has reached Ellis Island in New York City. They await the arrival of the father, who is tending to paperwork dated 1905. A photograph taken in 1954 by Sabine Weiss, a Swiss-French photographer known for her contributions to the French humanist style of photography in the 1950s. Petticoat Junction, an American television sitcom, aired on CBS from September 1963 to April 1970. This photo features cast members B. Benedaret, Edgar Buchanan, Linda Henning, Janine Riley, and Pat Wood L. In the late summer of 1910, siblings and their respective families, residing in various parts of Christchurch, New Zealand, made plans to gather for a picnic. Farrah Fawcett and Jacqueline Smith are pictured together in a photograph from Season 1 of Charlie's Angels. 
specifically from the episode titled Night of the Strangler, which originally aired on August 11, 1976. A photograph from the 1910s captured by Alfred Cheney Johnston, a renowned photographer based in New York City. Johnston was celebrated for his portraits, particularly those featuring the showgirls of the Ziegfeld Follies, along with actors and actresses from both stage and film. The actors and background performers on set for the production of Heart of the Golden West, a 1942 Western featuring Roy Rogers. A young woman from the Rangiora district in New Zealand enjoys an afternoon outing with her Shetland pony and a vintage 1908 two-wheeled sprung cart. A picture captures correspondent Fred W. Loring and his mule resting at a campsite following the delivery of a message in Arizona in 1871. The American actress Angie Dickinson began her career in 1950s television. From 1974 to 1978, she portrayed Sergeant Pepper Anderson in the NBC crime series Police Woman, earning her the Golden Globe Award for Best Actress in a Television Series Drama. The fire brigade chartered the ferry, SS Albatross, to transport the firefighters to their annual picnic at Home Bay on Motutapu Island, New Zealand, in 1909. In 1924, at the Desuter Aircraft Factory in Croydon, South London, a fighter plane, battered from its service in the First World War, sat in front of the hangar. Dorothy Sebastian, an American actress of both film and stage, harbored dreams of becoming a dancer and pursuing a career in the cinematic arts from a young age. However, her family disapproved of these aspirations, prompting her to leave home at the tender age of 15 and seek her fortunes in New York City. A Harris and Ewing photograph from the 1940s depicts police escorting a man out of a building after he adamantly refused to leave voluntarily. L. Death of the Netherlands in 1926 invented a portable emergency bridge that could be easily transported on a handcart. In the early 20th century, a young woman had her portrait captured before her wedding, intending to cherish memories of her teenage years. In the year 1900, Mulberry Street in New York City held significant historical ties to Italian-American culture and heritage. During the late 19th and early 20th centuries, it thrived as the vibrant core of Manhattan's Little Italy. In December of 1933, a resident from the locality engages in negotiations with the proprietor of a Christmas tree lot, striving to secure the most favorable price for her preferred tree. Priscilla Barnes gained prominence as an American actress, particularly recognized for portraying Terry Alden in the ABC sitcom Three's Company from 1981 to 1984. 